What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, I'm feeling very regal today. And I am guessing you can tell why I'm feeling very extra, feeling very queen-like, feeling very, like, princess vibes here. I'm getting very into this look. I'm glowing all over the place. I am definitely having some fun with some jewelry and definitely enjoying this fun look. Because today, we are going to be doing... Not really a review, but mostly a fun tutorial using almost every piece of the Disney Mac Aladdin collection. So we got the highlighter and the bronzer. We got the eyeshadow palette. We got all four of the lipsticks. We got a crystal glaze gloss, one of the lip glosses, not the eyeliner, not the pigment, but one of the glosses to do all this really fun look for you guys today. Of course, I really had a lot of fun doing this look today because of course it is very in your face. It's very bold. It's very glowing. It's very glistening. It's very glossy. It's just in your face and I'm just loving this look because of course I wanted to get that inspiration from Princess Jasmine herself from the cartoon, of course, and the live-action movie that this collection is inspired by. So I really wanted to do a fun tutorial for you guys. That was something a little bit more out of the box than what I'm used to. So that's what I did today, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, of course, if you want to see some swatches, what the real tea is on the products, and what I think of them, and, of course, how I got this fun makeup Princess Jasmine-inspired look, then keep on watching. So I got my eyelid base on and it's time to go in with an eyeshadow look of course because we're going to be doing a Disney Aladdin themed, Jasmine themed makeup look pretty much. And of course we're going to be using the brand new MAC Cosmetics Disney Aladdin collection. Here's an eyeshadow palette that we're going to be using today. This is absolutely stunning and beautiful. And of course let me show you guys some swatches of this palette. We have Riff Raff, Rags to Riches, No Ordinary Lamp, Princess Jasmine, Agrabah, Abu, Creative Copper, Live the Genie Life, and Shadowy Lady. Of course, I'm probably not going to be using all of this palette today because the look I want to go for is definitely going to be more of a like golden regal vibe with like a pop of like that tealy turquoise blue that Jasmine is very famous for wearing. I kind of want to do something like that for this look. Of course, I'm not wearing a shirt right now because kind of wanting to live this certain kind of fantasy and I couldn't find a shirt that would match so I'm like whatever let me just you know crop out everything else but of course just you know try to live my fantasy. So to contour the crease pretty much I'm going to go in with the shade right here which is called Riff Raff. I'm actually just going to use that shade all over the crease and just kind of warm it up you know get it all ready for some more shadow lay down. Okay so now that we got that shade blended out it is a little bit on the darker side but that's okay because we're going to go in with the blue shadow now, of course, over top of this. I feel like if I just go in with a, like a nice light blue color, it will kind of make it a little bit more on the tealer side. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to be using the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments and Shadows palette today for this look because, of course, this thing has everything you need to create a bomb look, honestly. And now I am going to go in with the shade Drip Drop right here on the top. I'm going to use that on the outer corner and blend it inward, of course, even though we are going to be cutting the crease. I'm going to be using a Drip Drop on the outer corner, blending it inward, and just seeing what kind of look we will get with this. So, so far, it's looking pretty good. As you can see, we got a nice, like, fierce blend as much as we can, obviously, um, because, of course, we're going to be highlighting that area. I don't want to go up higher because... You don't want blue all over the place. I'm actually going to go in with the shade Level Up right here. I'm going to pat a little bit of this over top of the shadow just to see what kind of a turquoise look we can get out of it. I want to make sure that we get a nice, cohesive, beautiful blend with a turquoise feel instead of it being just all shit of blue. So, of course, it is now time to cut the crease. Some Makeup Revolution Conceal Cut Crease Canvas thing, of course, as I always use before we go in with any more beautiful shadows. Looking really pretty, of course, we're gonna go in with some eye color. I'm gonna go in, of course, back with the MAC palette, because I wanna use as many shades as I can of this palette. I just love the color story of it for like a neutral to plummy kind of look, but of course, for this look, I wanted to go a little bit more intense, and there was not, of course, a teal in this palette, which I think there should have been. So let me just shut up, and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is actually called Creative Copper, which I believe is a permanent shade. I'm actually gonna wet the brush, and I'm gonna pack that onto the lid 
for this cut crease fantasy because of course I wanted a gold, beautiful coppery gold color for the lid. So now both eyes are pretty much done. I also did throw on some Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, Thirsty Palette in the shade Splash on the lid. Pretty much trying to make it a little bit closer to turquoise. It is not going to be straight up turquoise, okay? We got this. We're moving on. Okay. I am going for more of like a sea foamy kind of color right now. That's pretty much what is the basis of this look. Now I'm going to do the outer corner portion of the eye because of course we have that really fun bright color on the lid. I want to do an outer corner that's a little bit more of a smokier color because of course this is true to my aesthetic and my style. So I'm going to go back in with this palette of course. I'm going to go in with this shade on the bottom right here which is called Shadowy Lady which I also believe is a repromotion as well. I'm going to use this on the outer corner and just to kind of get a nice smokier vibe out of this look. Okay, so so far it's looking pretty good. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I am going to go throw on some foundation, some concealer, some powder, you know, that fun jazz, of course. And I'll be right back to finish off the rest of this eye look with you guys. So now the base is on. I'm using Laura Mercier Radiance Flawless Foundation on right now. And of course, I'm using the Studio Fix concealer from MAC and of course, I'm using some Charlotte Tilbury powder and some Huda Beauty powder as well for this entire glam look. So anyways, to get started with the rest of this eye, we're going to go in with the lower lash line. I'm going to go back in with the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette in the shade Splash right here. I'm just going to use this to smoke out the lower lash line, of course, to tie in with go back in with the Color Rain Palette in the shade Drip Drop right here. And I'm going to use that the same thing. I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm going to go back in with the MAC Aladdin Palette in the shade Shadowy Lady. I'm going to use that just on the lower lash line, of course, to smoke it out. But I'm kind of using it almost like, like a nice deep liner as well. Now to finish off this eye look, of course, it is time for a brow bone inner corner highlight as always. I'm going to go in with this top shade right here, which is called Rags to Riches from the Aladdin palette. This one is definitely in like a champagne golden shade. I'm actually going to wipe my brush and I'm going to apply it, of course, to get that really nice bright in your face effect. Okay, so now that I'm feeling this fantasy, I'm going to throw on some mascara, some lashes, some liner this time, and some brows, and I'll be right back to finish off this whole entire face look with you guys. So now that the brows are on, the eyes are done, for the brows I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown, and I use the Gimme Brow in 4.5 from Benefit, and of course I'm wearing some MAC lashes as well, and I am going to throw on some eyeliner in just a hot second because, you know, gotta give my eyes a little bit of a break or they will start watering like crazy. So really quick, I'm going to go in with Milani Luminoso Blush for this blush for this face because of course there is not a blush in this Aladdin collection. I wanted to go in with a blush that I know, love, and swear by and it will really tie in with this gorgeous look. So now it is time to you know, remove the hat because, you know, we're going to need to get up in this forehead right now. I'm going to go in with the MAC Aladdin Bronzer in the shade Your Wish is My Command. Technically, this is a powder blush. I believe that's just because that's the formula. But this is a bronzer, as you can see. This bronzer actually fits better for medium to tan skin tones because this one is a little bit of a darker bronzer. I am going to be using it today lightly. Not heavy handed, because you just don't know. And we're going to see how it will look. Now, pretty much I'm going to go in, of course, with the highlighter in this collection or the powder blush in this collection. This is always one jump ahead. This beautiful highlighter. And also, let me talk about this and the bronzer having that cute genie lamp in there. I mean, come on. Beautiful. Stunning. Packaging. Stunning. So now let's just put this on. This one is definitely going to be, of course, a more light, medium, tan highlight. It's definitely going to be a little bit dark on me but we will make it work it might not be that bad my letter is so stunning i just want to put it all over my existence i mean i'm pretty fair and i'm also having weird tan lines going on right now but i mean that doesn't stop the glow here okay so now we have all four of the lip bullets in this aladdin collection they're all really stunning the packaging of course is very stunning but I'm not going to do all lip swatches for you guys today because, of course, I want to do a really fun look. I'm going to go in with, like, an ombre nude lip that I've been obsessed with doing. It's going to probably look the same as I always do, but whatever. I'm going to show you guys some swatches of these lip colors, as always, of course. We have Friend Like Me, Princess Incognito, Raja, 
and whole new world. So the only one that is like a amplified cream is going to be a friend like me, which is the one I'm going to be wearing today. The other three are matte formulations. And of course, we're going to be throwing on some gloss as well at the end. First, to get started, I'm going to go in with the stripped down lip liner from MAC just to kind of use this to just get that nice dark edge. Now it's time to throw on the Friend Like Me Amplified Cream lipstick over top of this. I have this shade right here which is called Diamond in the Rough which is beautiful and this is what I'm going to use today. But I also picked up the Crystal Glaze Gloss right here which is in the shade number one Wish. I am obsessed with the Crystal Glaze Gloss. It is kind of like something that you can use on the face, on the eye to get that like glossy like photo ready skin but of course you also can put it on the lip and it's very moisturizing and it's going to give you that nice little bit of shine not something sticky or tacky like a regular gloss but it's just so stunning um, I'm going to go in with Diamond in the Rough for this look okay so now the look is actually not 100% complete just yet I'm actually going to be throwing on a really fun headband in just a second and also something a little bit more fun on the body I added a little cute little headband that I got from one of my managers at work. It definitely is feeling this fantasy without going too crazy, but of course it is a little crazy, but that's kind of what I wanted for this look. I'm going to do something a little bit more fun with my entire look. Since the look is really intense on the eyes, and of course headband and everything like that, I wanted to do a little bit of some body glow. Why not? I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Body Luminizer and I believe in the shade Heart of Rose Gold mixed with a little bit of Liquid Frost from Jeffree Star in Goddess. Well, it's definitely giving me a bronze goddess fantasy because this is definitely darker than I thought it was going to be. But I mean, hey, it still looks really, really pretty. Let me just, you know, blend this out a little more. here it is you guys this is my full jasmine fantasy I guess this is just like the fantasy I was envisioning in my mind I just want to do something really regal and really glowing and really beautiful and I'm really loving this bronzy golden kind of skin thing going on so I will say right now of course because I'm very biased but at the same time I'm giving you the real tea here I think this whole collection is stunning and it's worth every penny like I will be honest with you guys like I will tell you guys if it is crap or not it is the real deal this collection is beautiful I think the bronzer the highlighter the eyeshadow palette the lipsticks the lip glosses the even the eyeliner and the pigment and everything like that every piece of this collection is stunning if you are a Mac addict a makeup addict a collector whatever you are you need to pick up this collection it is so worth it so really quickly I'll let you guys know the eyeshadow palette I believe $35 the bronzer and the highlighter are $35 as well the pigment is I believe 22 or 24 somewhere around there the crystal glaze gloss is 24 because it is four times the size of a regular gloss just so you know um, the glosses are $19.50 the lipsticks are $20 because they are in a deco packaging and I believe the eyeliner is $20 or something like that somewhere around there $19 or $20 or whatever so that is the prices for everything in this collection as well if you want to pick those up they just came out so it is time to pick them up now while you can so that is the end of this Princess Jasmine inspired Aladdin Mac Disney collection tutorial review and all that fun jazz whatever you want to call it and I really enjoyed this really fun tutorial for you guys so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the very near future love you bye